Today we're going to be making the best scalloped potatoes you've ever tasted. They're creamy, cheesy, and oh so delicious. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Let's start by making our creamy bechamel sauce for our scalloped potatoes. So let's go over to the stove and start preparing it. On a medium heat, we're gonna heat a pot and then add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Just gonna swirl that around. Make sure that the butter does not burn. And once the butter has melted, we're gonna add four garlic cloves, which are finely diced. And this is going to give a lovely flavor to our bechamel sauce. Now let's saute that till the butter gets infused with the garlic flavor. Wow, I can get that lovely garlic aroma. So now I'm going to add in 3 fourth cup of all-purpose flour. And with a whisk, I'm just going to whisk that along with the butter. And now we want the all-purpose flour to get infused with the flavor of the garlic butter and also get a little nutty flavor. But we don't want to burn it at the same time. And this is what is called the roux for the bechamel sauce. Okay, that's looking good. And now we're going to add in first just a cup of milk and whisk it vigorously. And now we're going to add two and a quarter cup more of milk. And now for some added richness, we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. But if you want it, you can always substitute with milk. You'll see that we've got a lovely smooth mixture and the only little pieces that you see inside are that of the garlic. And now we're going to cook this while whisking constantly till it thickens. Our bechamel sauce is thickening so now we're going to lower the heat and add half a teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper or you could use white pepper if you wanted and quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And let's continue whisking. Our bechamel sauce is almost ready. Just a few seconds more. You don't want to make it too thick because they're going to layer it between the potatoes before we put it into the oven. So it's going to thicken even more when cooking the potatoes. Okay, that's looking perfect. Now I'm going to switch off the heat and we're going to toss in one cup of grated cheddar cheese. And we're going to save one cup for later. And you want to use some good quality cheddar cheese here. And into that we're going to toss one tablespoon of finely diced chives. Now let's whisk that together. Wow, just look at that. How delicious that is looking. Now we're going to take it off the heat while we slice the potatoes. Now that our bechamel sauce is ready, let's prep the potatoes. We're going to go in with five large potatoes and I'm using the yellow flesh potatoes and this is approximately about a kilogram. Now let's slice them up into thin slices and for that you could either do it by hand but I'm going to go in with a mandolin. So we're just going to cut the potato to half first and then fix on the guard. We've got it on the thinnest setting and now let's slice away. When making scalloped potatoes, you want all the potatoes to be of equal size and you want them really thin. So these are looking just perfect. To assemble our scalloped potatoes, we're going to go in with a 9 by 13 inch baking dish and we're going to put a thin layer of the bechamel sauce at the bottom. This is going to prevent the potatoes from sticking to the baking dish. And now we're going to put a layer of the potatoes on the top. And we're going to overlap them while doing this. This will ensure that when you serve yourself, You'll get all the goodness with every spoonful. And now we're going to top this with another layer of the bechamel sauce. When I'm preparing this for a special occasion, I like to use this layering technique. But if it's for an everyday quick meal, then you can toss the potatoes into the bechamel sauce, make sure that they get well coated, and then toss them into a baking dish and bake them. That makes it very quick and easy to prepare an everyday meal. And I like to sprinkle on a little bit of the cheddar cheese on top of the bechamel sauce so that we get a lot of that cheesy goodness throughout. And now we're going to put another layer of the sliced potatoes. 
This is a perfect side to make for Thanksgiving. And now we're going to put another layer of the bechamel sauce. You can spread it out later. I'm just putting it across first. So depending upon how many layers of potatoes you want to put, you're going to divide the bechamel sauce by layering it out. And now once again, we're going to go in with a little bit of the cheese. Now you can be as generous as you want. I'm just putting a little bit. And now another layer of potatoes. I have a few extras, so I'm just going to toss them on the top. And I'm going to put just a little bit of the bechamel sauce on the top of it. You're going to leave some of the potatoes without getting covered with the bechamel sauce because those will get nice and crispy once we put the cheese on top of them. And now we're going to top this with the remaining cheese. And if you wanted, you could substitute by using mozzarella cheese, gruyere cheese, or any cheese that you enjoy eating. And now we're going to cover our baking dish with an aluminum foil and place in the preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to bake the potatoes for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. And then we're going to take off the foil and allow it to continue baking for another 10 to 15 minutes. And in that time, our potatoes are going to get a lovely golden color. And we're going to finish it off with a sprinkle of finely chopped chives. Although you're really tempted to taste it right away, you're going to have to let it cool for a little bit before you dig into it and taste it. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give our scalloped potatoes a taste. Oh, this looks so cheesy and creamy at the same time. Ooh, yummy. See that cheese? Mmm. Wow, these scalloped potatoes, they're so delicious. It's so creamy and cheesy. And the potatoes, they cook just right. I hope you give this recipe a try because I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.